record here. Um, which ones did we do last time? All right, let me pull up the card again. Let's see. Last time we did, you either did the crane pose or the single leg rocking squat. You also did the five by five here and you did the as few sets as possible doing the hundred leg raises. Let's see. So, so far I've done the sprints, I've done the crane pose. I'm, I'm in the middle of this right here. And then I've done the quarantine challenge, which you guys have done as well, probably. I did this today. I'm in the middle of this. I'm going to finish my week on this. Uh, I'll have done this by the time I'm done with you guys. I got a little ways to go. I'm going to, I'm also going to do this one tomorrow morning. I'm going to climb the Empire State Building. It's 86 flights of stairs. So you got to climb the 86 flights in one day. That's an easy one. Uh, all right. So let's find some space on the ground. We'll get ready for our planking. All right. So to start out, we need to have video of us doing the exercise. No, you don't, Gavin. But it would be awesome if you took it so I could put it on our social media pages because it just looks cool. All right. So we're going to be in a hand plank. Uh, we're just going to start out with a normal for this uh, first time. All right, so we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. So hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Hips are in line with your shoulders and ankles. All right, a third of the way there. We're gonna change up doing different types of planks each time. Very good. Got 20 more seconds. Keeping good body position, core tight. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, relax. All right, very good. So this time what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from side plank to side plank. You'll do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other, all right? So I'm gonna give you about eh, 40 seconds of rest while you guys are resting, excuse me. I will demonstrate the side plank. So keeping your hips in line and directly underneath your shoulder, other arm is extended to the air, all right? Then you'll roll straight from one side to the other. All right, 15 seconds, and then we'll start our side plank. All right. Here we go. Let's get ready. Get in. Get in. Get into position. Three, two, one, go. So we're going from side plank to side plank. Use good control here. Get Fifteen seconds in. Pulak is demonstrating very nicely for us. Good job. Keep it up, Gavin doing a good job. And rotate to the other side. You got 30 seconds on this side. Use good control, keep your abs tight. Excellent, Victoria joining us. Victoria, we are side planking as the winners are demonstrating right here. 10 more seconds. Excellent job. 
And three, two, one, relax. Excellent. All right. So this time for our plank, I'm going to call out different commands. So I'll demonstrate just a few of them here while you guys are resting. So you'll be in your plank position, right? Get a little wider base with your feet. So spread your feet a little further apart. I'll say raise your right arm. You'll extend it forward or left arm, or maybe I will say raise your right leg off the ground. You'll hold your right leg or left leg. You'll hold it off the ground. All right, they'll go in 10 second intervals, all right? We'll start out by planking normally for 10 seconds, all right? We got about six seconds before we start. So, ready, set, go. So it's a normal plank. All right. Raise your right arm. Very good. Keep holding it. And down, left arm. Uh, pointing it straight out in front of you. And down, right leg. Good job. And down, left leg. Good job, swimmer Gavin, or good job, Gab Gab. And down, now hold that plank for 10 more seconds. Then your abs tight. And relax. Very good job. Um, all right, so good work on that. Uh, our fourth minute of planking. All right. You will be in a normal plank position, hands directly underneath your shoulders, and you're going to do shoulder taps for the duration of the minute. All right. So I'll demonstrate here. All right. Shoulder taps. Your goal is to not rock too far to the side. All right. Going nice, slow, in control. Try not to rock too far from one side to the other. All right, so you've got 15 seconds and then we'll do round number four. You'll have one more round after this. All right, so shoulder taps the entire minute. Three, two, one, go. Good, so shoulder taps the entire minute. You don't have to go fast. Just in control, trying not to rock from one side to the other. Victoria is giving us a nice demonstration right now. Very good. You're a third of the way through. Good job. Swimmer Gavin doing a good job on his shoulder taps. Good. Hips aren't rocking too far. Good work. Sarah doing a great job. Oh, Sarah's video stopped. Keep it up. You got 10 more seconds. Good. And three, two, one. Relax. Excellent. Um, all right. So this last set, um, it's going to be two rounds of 30 seconds. All right, so we'll do two rounds of 30 seconds. You're going to hold the top position for 20 seconds, and then you're gonna lower yourself as if the bottom of a push-up position and hold that for 10 seconds. All right, so you will hold the top for 20, and then the last 10, hold the bottom. All right. So as if it's the bottom of your push-up position. And bless you, Peggy. I can hear that from here. All right. So here we go. Normal plank, 
for 20, hold the bottom for 10. Ready? And go. Good job. So when you when I tell you to lower, you will lower yourself to that bottom position. Make sure your elbows aren't flaring out. Keep them in closer to your sides. Really a 45 degree angle. And lower. Good, Gavin, or Gav Gav. Excellent. Three, two, one. Relax. Awesome. Very good job. Very nice. So I'll give you 30 seconds of rest here, and then we'll do our last plank. Right, 15 seconds left. This will be the last plank. We need to ask Victoria what movie she's seen lately. All right, last one. Three, two, one, go. Good. Remember, hands are directly underneath your shoulders. They shouldn't be too far above or out in front. There you go. I saw um, Pulaski and Gav Gav um, correct their form. Peggy demonstrating good form. Victoria's got good form. And lower, shoot. I missed that by five seconds. And relax. You guys got off easy on that one. Man. All right. Very good. Uh, so that's five out of your 20 minutes of cumulative planking in one day. Um, let's see. Next up, we have... The 10 rounds of 10, all right? I'm gonna type it into the chat for you. 10 rounds, you're gonna do 10 squats, 10 pikes, and 10 supermans, all right? Um, so there it is in the chat. Squats, you guys know how to do squats. Supermans, you know how to do supermans. Pikes, I'll demonstrate those. So when you do your pike, you'll be flat on your back. You're gonna be fully extended with your arms and legs. You're gonna raise up and crunch to the top, all right? So legs and arms go up, all right? You'll extend all the way out with your arms raised, crunching at the top, reaching for your toes. Um, when you do these exercises, take your time, you're not trying to do these super fast, but we are gonna do all 10 rounds without any breaks, all right? So stand up, starting out with squats. Sarah, you can do your exercises instead. All right, so 10 rounds. Whenever you're done, type it in the chat. When you guys are doing good form, I'm gonna highlight you. So yeah, go right ahead. 10 squats, 10 pikes. 10 supermans. Right off the bat, Pulaski demonstrating good form. Hips going below her knees. That's a great job. Good form, Pulak. Now she's going to her pike, fully extending. It's a great job. Good, so your legs are gonna go all the way to the ground. Witterins are doing a great job of that. Oh, we lost one. We lost one. All right, she's back. She's doing some shoulder exercises. All right, they're going back to bowing me. Very good. Awesome, good demonstration. All right. Sarah doing a good job of her supermans. Good work. Some of y'all are moving on to round two, maybe even round three. It's really good. Sky doing a great job on the pikes. Good work. Moving on to the supermans. Excellent work. So swimmer Gavin, make sure your legs are going all the way back down to the ground. 
Gav, Gav, doing a good job of staying on your heels for those squats. Good job, Avitha. Let's see. Let me pull up the results to the quarantine team challenge again while you are, are doing this. Um, let's see. There we go. So right now, um, for the girls, Avitha is in seventh place in the state. I think most of you all knew that, but Avitha, awesome job. Seventh place in the state, and she's going to try and make that time even faster so that she can get a higher position. And I want to see another Cobia on that top 10 board. And then Dylan right now is 10th, but we'll see how the results come out. Right now is a time that would be first, but who knows if somebody's gotten a faster time. But Dylan is being a slacker right now by not being in dry land. Right? Disappointing. I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. All right, winter ends. The dogs are there. You got to do the squats with the dogs. <laughs> there we go. Demonstration here. Nice. Nice. Guys are doing great. Swimmer Gavin, much better on those pikes. All right, we're gonna go into Sarah doing her Texas two-step. She's like, right foot, let's stop. She's doing the Cupid shuffle right now. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Everybody clap your hands. Very good. Let's check in with Evan. Evan doing great, man. Going to these pikes. Yeah, good work. Pikes for days. You guys are piking so well, you could be divers. Forget swimming. Job, Victoria. I don't know if you guys know, but after this, we're all going to Adam's house to play ping pong later. Good job, Adam. Um, let's check in on Pulak here. Pulak, what round are you on? I'm starting my seventh round. Seventh round, nice. Very good. So you guys don't have too much further to go. Let's see. Let's share the bingo card again. So just during dry land, you all will have completed the five by five, possibly the single leg squat, the quarantine, challenge uh the 10 by 10 and what else oh the 100 leg raises and you're almost there on the cumulative planking so what would be your best options? If you guys have been stretching every day, then let me change. Let's see, if you guys have been stretching every day, then that would be a good way to go. And then you would only have this create your own set. It's only 75 total reps. That's nothing. You guys are doing 100 reps right now. So you could do this, create your own set of Turkish get-ups and jump tucks and plyo push-ups. Although I will admit, that's going to be a very tough 75 reps. So you could do that uh, if you've been biking. This, this, I think, this top row would be a really 
good one to do. You do the 5K for time. And then the eight minute Tabata, that's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You guys do that like for your warm up. And then lifting the 15,000 pounds, that's the toughest part because you have to do it within the 60 minutes. Um, but you're using your body weight for the pounds. So if you do like, let's say your body weight comes out to be like 100 pounds and there's a formula for it, it's 70% of your body weight. Right, so 70% of my body weight would be like 150 pounds. So if I did 10 squats, I've already listed, lifted 1,500 pounds. I could do 10 squats in no time. So you can be strategic with that one. Let's see, here's what my board looks like right now. I've got the quarantine challenge. I've got the uphill sprints I did yesterday, the crane pose. Uh, what else have I done? I've done this one. I uh, have done this one. Let's see. I think that's all that I've done so far. Here's what I will do. So on Sunday, I'm doing the 5K for time. Today, I'm gonna do the pull-ups every minute to failure. I'm in the middle of my stretching every day. By the time I do the 5K, I'll have my 20 miles run for the week. Tomorrow, I'm going to climb the Empire State Building. That's 86 flights. 86 times you got to go up your stairs. Um, man, I don't have, I'm not even close to bingo yet. I'm going to have to do a 30 minute yoga session, I guess. I'm trying to do as many of these as I can possibly do, though. I mean, I guess I could lunge walk to and from the bathroom. I'm going to clear this. All right, guys are finishing up. Sarah McKinnon asks, does going down the stairs count as a flight? No. You gotta go up the stairs. The, the Empire State Building doesn't go like this. It just goes up. Good question though, good question. Sarah, I'm, I'm sorry for making light of your question. That's like 168 flights. No, going down the stairs, that's nothing. Go, go to a hospital and climb the stairs or something and take the elevator down. That's a great idea. For hospitals are risky places right now. All right, Adam is finishing up his last Finley. Step. Come here. Finley. Oh, we were gonna see the dog. Oh. <laughs> He's right here. There we I go. I really like cameras. Oh. That's why we don't have pictures of him. It's a cute dog. Um let's see, Sky's dog. Sky, what's your dog's name? This is my cat. <laughs> what's your cat? Oh, <laughs> your cat did not want any part of this Zoom dry land. He wants to go look outside. Oh, nice. All right, good job. Uh, so, Kobe is a uh, good job with dry land. Uh, just two things, all right? So, if you, is Sky still on spotlight? Nope, okay. Uh, so just two things. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to send me your four to five facts about yourself for our um, Know Your Cobia Teammates Challenge tomorrow. Uh, no, sorry, Saturday. That'll take place during our dry land on Saturday. So send in those facts to me by tonight so that I can get those ready to go. Sarah, you're kind of like the Cobia leader 
Um, so Sarah, shoot a text message to the group uh, chat and make sure that everybody has their facts straight. Um, I'll send out information about that challenge tomorrow. Um, and then the second thing is complete your bingo cards, right? You A, get a duck from RSA, B, you are entered in to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So that's pretty sweet. Um, if you take videos or wanna send in an update of your card, feel free to send those in to me and I'll put them on our social media. I love being able to put you guys out there and to show off what you're doing. So great job, keep it up. And lastly, um, RSA is doing a rock garden. So all you have to do is to find a small rock and you can paint it with your name or whatever kind of design that you would like. Um, we just want for you to always be connected to RSA, um, for RSA to always have a piece of you there. So we're gonna take all of your rocks, spell out a message in the uh, little flower bed at RSA. So paint your rock, put it in the mailbox outside of the front gate at RSA, and that will be a big help. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about the, the rock garden? You've seen the picture of it? Okay, good. Um, yeah, so do that. Are there any questions about any of those things? All right, so doesn't look like it. There should be a schedule sent out relatively soon about what practice will look like in the coming week. Um, the schedule will look different. All right, so be prepared for that. Um, you guys won't all be together at the same time, but that's okay, all right? You'll get to uh, uh, become closer with people in the group that you may not know as well, um, but it'll be fun, and I'm excited for us to return to practice. Um, does anybody have anything that they want to say to the group? All right, well, that confirmed it. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. Good job and uh, get those bingo cards in.